hello everyone welcome back to the next video in this video i will show you how to uh, access rest apis for zoho desk so if you are uh, if you already know zoho desk and if you want to use rest apis for that uh, inside your application uh, you can uh, uh, watch this video to know how to use it now firstly you will have to go to api dash console dot zoho dot in so uh, firstly go to that particular very uh, url sorry i am already on that particular url and you will have to click on add client and here uh, mostly most people would be using uh, web based applications but uh, depending on what kind of application you are using make sure you use it so given for a web based application you might will you most probably will have a server as well so here you can just click on create now and inside client name uh, you can give whatever you feel like and i'll quickly show you the client which i have already created so here you can see i have created a client name called my app and in home page url for now typically it should be your own uh, website url but i currently don't have a website that's why i have given it as www.google.com and for authorized redirect uris as well as uh, for that as well i have given it www.google.com now this is very important but typically it would be url of your own web application now why this is important because we will be creating an authorization code to get the access token as well as re ref refresh token we require we need the uh, we require a particular code now to get that particular code once we hit one particular endpoint it will redirect to whatever you have entered inside our authorized redirect uris okay so most probably enter uh, your own uh, web page url i currently don't have anything uh, that's why i have just entered this next for client secret so this here you can see this is my client id as well as client secret you will get something like this so suppose if i click on add client server based application my second app okay and here i can enter something like https colon slash slash www.google.com i'll click control a control v okay i'll click on create and here you can see it has created one client id as well as client secret and if you go to settings here it says that i'm not really sure about this because i live in asia and it is not <coughs> displaying anything for my for the country which i live in so that's why i have checked uh, like i have not toggled this particular checkbox also i have not toggled this but if you are living in one of these countries the url will uh, the rest api endpoint will differ slightly i will uh, let you know about that in a little bit now firstly what we will have to do is we will have to generate the authorization code uh so let's see how to uh impl how to uh, generate that okay, so the next thing which you have to determine is the oauth scope before generating the authorization code so uh, like i don't want to confuse you all so these are the oauth scopes so suppose i want to access uh apis related to tickets then you would require uh oauth scope uh for tickets so to get access to oauth scope for tickets you can either use uh, desk.tickets.all or if you only want to read tickets uh, instead of using dash.tickets.all you can use dash.tickets.read okay now uh, i will show you the url how it would look like for generating the authorization code so firstly you will have to go to accounts.zoho.in because i live in india but here now this would be different different for you don't use if you don't live in india don't use in uh, here you can go to like i was showing you previously uh, wherever you live in you will have to use that particular thing so suppose uh, if you are living in uh, european countries then you will have to use zoho.eu uh, sorry instead of uh, zoho.in okay instead of zoho.in you will have to use zoho.eu i guess and i'm not sure if you have to toggle this checkbox or not but if you want you can toggle this checkbox if you are facing this issue for uh, getting the authorization code okay i'm first explaining how the url is constructed now this would be common for all slash oauth slash v2 auth response type equal to code 
here you will have to enter your own client id so i have already told you like you can get the client go to client secret copy your client id paste your client id over here next what scope you want so here i have added multiple scopes like dash dot tickets dot all like i have shown you right here you can add all those scopes if you want to add multiple scopes just do comma separated so here you can see i'm using dash dot tickets dot all comma dash dot settings dot all dash dot task dot all you can find all the scopes in this particular documentation now once that is done so here are all these scopes which i have okay so i've just copy pasted so these are a lot of scopes i am uh, uh, requiring next inside redirect uri whatever yeah, redirect uri you have entered make sure you use that i have entered www.google.com and access type i have kept it as offline as well now what i'll do i'll copy paste this i'll open a new tab and i'll paste it over there Uh, firstly it will ask me do you want to accept i'll just click on accept now once you click on accept if you see this uh, particular url it will give you one code i'll just copy this and i'll paste it over here so this is the read uh, once you are redirected to www.google.com because that was the redirect url right so here you can see it has given this particular code now this sorry this code is only valid for a minute so copy paste this code i'll quickly open postman now we will have to generate access token as well as refresh token i will quickly generate the uh, access token because otherwise uh, access token and refresh token otherwise my code might expire i'll tell you how so here you can see i got the access token as a refresh token if you want to see the documentation this is the url for the documentation so this is for registering client we are already done that making the authorization request uh, so we are also done with this so here you can see it is telling you how to generate the authorization code i mean now for generating the token so here you can see i'm using the same api endpoint https colon slash slash account dot zoho dot com slash oauth slash v slash token so here you can see but instead of zoho.com i am using zoho.in if i use zoho.com it is not working for me because i live in india that's why i'm using zoho.in uh, if zoho.com is not working for you use uh, your own country code slash o slash v slash v2 slash token and here you can see we are firstly we, are, we need to pass the grant type grant underscore type authorization code now this is the code which i just got from this particular url which i shown you so here you can see i have just copy pasted this particular code before this ampersand after this equal to code equal to and before the ampersand whatever you have copy pasted over here client id client secret i have already told you like uh, when we were registering our server application we already have that so just copy paste over here and whatever was your redirect URI, you can paste it over here. Once you click on send, you will get the access token and refresh token. Now, your refresh token will never expire, but your access token, I think, has a limit of one hour or something. Now, whenever you want to generate a new access token, to do that, you can go to this particular URI. Again, they have given it in the documentation like refreshing your access token. So I'm just using this URL again here accounts.zoho.in not .com because I live in India slash OAuth slash V2 slash token here I am passing our refresh token here I am passing our client ID here I am passing our client secret and here I am passing grant underscore type equal to refresh token so if I uh, okay I'll just copy this uh, I'll just copy this refresh token and I'll paste it over here if I click on send here you can see it has given me the access token now using this access token I can request whatever I want suppose I want to get list of all tickets so here you can see you can go to this documentation list of all tickets you can just copy paste this curl I have already copy pasted it here you can see get all tickets endpoint and here is the API endpoint uh, you will have to get your organization ID first <clears throat> uh, firstly i'll tell you how to get the organization id so you can just go to dash dot zoho dot in again uh, it might be dot com for you be careful with this slash api slash v1 slash organizations and 
inside authorization uh, inside your header add authorization then in value you will have to enter zoho dash o or token and here you will just have to paste your token just click on send you will get your organization id so that's what i am passing over here for getting all the tickets i am passing my organization id and here i am passing my uh, zoho o or token so if i just paste it over here okay so i'll just paste my award token and if i click on send here you can see i'm able to get all the tickets which i have so similarly you can access all the apis uh, they are pretty simple but i think the getting started part was more was the most difficult so yeah that's it thank you for watching bye